Council, moving over to our ordinances this evening. We have a one ordinance that was tabled at the last meeting. Can I make a motion on table? We have a motion to take it off the table. I'll second. And a second. Second. Should we read the ordinance for the benefit of the public? We will, yeah. Okay. Why don't we get the vote first? So right. we have a motion and a second to take it off the table. This is not a vote for or against the ordinance. All this is doing is just taking it off the table. And opening it back up. Opening it back up. So you're voting in an affirmative manner would just mean that it's coming off the table to, to discuss it or to decide, actually rather to act on it in any way. So roll call, please. Ms. Skatos? Aye. Mr. Poach? Aye. Mr. Harvey? Aye. Mr. Arsenko? Aye. Mr. Williams? Aye. Mr. Wilson? Aye. The ayes have it. Mr. Ratcher, if you could just read the ordinance for the public. Will do, Mayor. An ordinance of the municipality of Monroeville, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, amending ordinance number 2689 to rescind the pollution control and flood reduction fee discount for certain religious institutions to be effective for the year 2021 and subsequent years. <coughs> Council, this, uh, this ordinance is uh, on the table for consideration to one of three options, either to approve it, to uh, deny it, or to retable it at this point. May I make a statement? We need to get a motion and a second first of some sort. Does anybody, or if, if well, I guess we, it is off the table. There has to be an action yeah, right now. Yeah, right, right. Okay, a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion to approve the ordinance. We have a second to approve the ordinance. Now is the time for discussion. You had a question, Mr. Williams? Uh, yeah, I got a comment. Uh, when religious institutions are given tax exempt status, uh, they are to provide services to the community, which many do, and I thank them for that. Uh, when they are given a discount on pollution control and flood reduction fee, it puts a burden on the taxpayers of Monroeville. One service nonprofits can provide that helps Monroeville as a whole is to pay their fair share of the pollution control fee. Uh, and not only help Monroeville, but helps anybody downstream of Monroeville. Uh, now Monroeville's, uh, it's a federally mandated program, 4% of the country, and we're one of the 4%. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Any other comments or questions, council? Mr. Harvey. Yes, um, it's unfortunate what we have to do here in, in amending this ordinance that was originally passed, uh, attempting to uh, help the uh, chartered religious organizations in Monroeville with a little bit of a break here. Uh, but unfortunately, the Gateway School District filed a lawsuit against us, and uh, <clears throat> We only put the discount in the ordinance to help the religious organizations. The, cha the change to the ordinance is due to the lawsuit filed by the school district arguing that they should not have to pay this tax. This is not a tax, but a fee, just like they pay for the municipal water authority for water and the sanitary sewers. <clears throat> this is for the management of the storm water that they're paved and impervious surfaces create and cost the municipality uh, funding to uh, manage under federal guidelines. Their lawsuit contains arguments including the religious discounts. We don't know what that has to do with the fee or what they're arguing or claiming as a tax. However, Mr. Ratcher asked them to remove the religious organization discount from the lawsuit and the Gateway School District declined to do that. Any other comments, counsel, or questions? No, I think Mr. Harvey stated that very well. So that leaves our hands tied um, as we try to work with the school district on this. And they didn't want to work with us, so we don't have a choice. Um, and I feel I'm sorry to the religious institutions. And I'd like to echo with what Mr. Harvey and uh, Mrs. Gato said, but the sad reality is the other reason we gave the discount had to do with some of the churches are very small and their budgets are extremely tight. It was a great idea, and I want to thank everybody on council personally for uh, passing this originally. And uh, and again, I think that uh, everybody's saying it's kind of sad we have to rescind it. So too bad for Gateway that they did that. I, I just don't get that. I'm, I'm very disappointed in. I'd like to comment, please. Mr. 
Wilson. Uh, yes. <clears throat> with with the school district that has uh, 19 plus mills for uh, to to achieve their budget to bring in revenue, and for them to go after these churches in the area, that it's like Mr. Williams said that uh, there has been in the past discounts offered to religious organizations with the school district uh, turning around and suing the municipality is a disaster for the school district it just says that they don't have any idea how these churches work the revenue from these churches is only through donation and other sources. However, in the long run, this is a terrible, terrible uh, lawsuit against uh, the municipality because the municipality wants to give a flood reduction fee to the religious institutions for the year of 2021 and down the road. So my feeling is that the school district is way out of line here and it's time to get your ducks in order and uh, pay attention to what's going on in the community and stop raising your millage. Thank you. Just Mr. Mayor, may I? Just a real quick comment. I believe the current millage rate is about 21 mills, not 19. And if you look at their budget, they have rough, I'm using round numbers, about 76 million versus about 35 million for the municipality. So, and if, and if being a former school director, uh, their role when, when I was on is down, and that was many years ago, of course, but it's down another 12 to 1500 from when we were on, Mr. Wilson and I. So, don't know why they did that, and again, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but very disappointed with the school district, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Greg, when, when we were on, uh, our budget was $62 million. I can't remember what the millage was, but they have lost uh, attendance and students. About 1,500. Yeah, well, they're down, I think, to 2,500 students, and... They keep raising their millage. I think they raised it. I can't. I can't figure out why. Yeah, well, council, time you look at uh, how you spend your money, school district. Well, council, well, let's consider what the uh, the ordinance at hand is currently. We have a motion and a second to another, approve this question. Approve, we have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance. We have one more comment about this, Mr. Poach. Yes. So essentially, voting against this ordinance, then backs us in the corner and hurts the hurts the, the religious organizations in town is that a, am i reading the correct no, definition no you're it's you're no, you vote. You you turn it around okay yeah. vote for it and right. vote if you if you it, vote for it, it it eliminates the discount that the religious institutions are getting mm -hmm. but it does improve our position in our lawsuit with mm -hmm. gateway who's trying to get out of paying about ninety thousand dollars in Flood reduction fees per year. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Council, there's a motion a second to approve this ordinance. Roll call, please. Mr. Wilson? No. Mr. Williams? Aye. Mr. Arsenko? No. Mr. Harvey? Aye. Mr. Poach? Aye. Ms. Gators? Aye. The ayes have it. Moving over to our report.